My name is Anthony Esposito, owner of Dadass Academy. With me here is my partner, Jose Cordero. We're gonna show you guys a few exercises that you could do on battle ropes. There's many that you could do, a couple of specific ones, which we'll show you right now. You're gonna come down into a high plank position, okay? You're gonna do a push up, come up, right hand slam, push up, come up, left hand slam. Again, push up, come up, right hand slam, push up, come up, left hand slam. Myself and Anthony met about 19 years ago. Three. As a kid, I always wanted to open Four. up a martial arts school. And we always spoke about it. We were like, you know what? Uh, let's open up a martial arts school together. You know, 10 years from now, 12 years from now, whatever it is, let's open up a martial arts school. Let's open up, up, you know, open up. And we train together every day, every other day in the parks. You know, went to the gym together. Then we started teaching boot camps in the park. We started with four girls. And that was on a Wednesday night. And by Saturday, we had six people. The following Wednesday, we had 12. So at, this, at that time, I was just teaching them by myself. And I, I, I spoke to Anthony, I said, Ant, come down. I said, I think we have something here. We, we might be able to, to open up this martial arts school in the future, but by opening up a gym first and then branching out. And two years went down the road and boom, Badass Academy started. Now what I want to show you guys is when you're in a high plank, you're going to be shoulders above your hands, okay? You want to make sure that your ears, shoulders, hips, and knees are in one line. This will certify that you're in a high plank, but you also want to make sure that you're engaging your core. You're squeezing those abs and you're tightening up your glutes. Now what you want to do here is come down into a push up, come back up, right hand slam, Make that rhythm in a, in a wave, go all the way down to the end of the rope, come back down into a push up, come all the way up, left hand slam, make sure that that rhythm goes all the way down. And then you want to repeat this, and keep going right to left, right to left. There's no workout out there that is going to help the core better than a battle rope. This will help me in my everyday life. I'm a New York City firefighter. I've been a New York City firefighter now for a little bit over eight years. I think that especially being a firefighter, you need a strong core. Heavy lifting, you know, climbing up huge long ladders, carrying 120 pounds on your body, going up 20 flights of stairs, then fighting a fire, you're gonna need a strong core. I've been wanting to be a firefighter since the age of seven. There was a little fire that happened when I was, uh, when I was a kid and I saw all the events that, that, that led to that fire or after the fire and, and it just made me, you know, just grow a big love and, and passion to, to, to be a fireman. When I come here, same thing, I love it. Um, so I'm, I'm blessed, I, I thank God that, that I, I, I've been given the, the opportunity to live both of my dreams. A typical day working with Jose, <laughs> right out. I want to blow my brains out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A typical day working with Jose, it's really good. You know, I, I really don't have any complaints. You know, working with him, you learn so much. We vibe together, we've been friends for you know, almost 20 years. So it's like hanging out with your brother all day. So it's not so much work, it's more or less spending time with, with your brother all day and changing people's lives and hopefully making some money. I got it too. The first time I did, you know, the first thing I did battle ropes, I was like, oh, it's only a, it's only a rope. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. 10 seconds in, I was like, wait a minute, this, this thing got pretty heavy. 20 seconds in, I'm like, all right, I'm, now I'm tired. 30 seconds in, I was beat. And the next day I woke up and I'm like, wow, I'm like, my, why are my forearms so sore? Why, you know, I, my, forearms, my forearms haven't been sore in a long time, you know, and that's what it was. Just being able, that movement of the battle rope, is, it's, it's working every single part of your body. You're going in from your, all the way from your wrist to your forearms, to your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, your back, your lower back, which is very important, and your legs, that foundation, that stability, is what's gonna help you work all those ropes. No matter what the movement is, it's gonna, it's gonna contribute to the, to the movement of the battle ropes. And you can see, if the movement is not adequate, if the movement is not flowing, you're doing it incorrectly. Once you get that correct flow, you get the correct movement, you know, okay, now I got it. My whole body's moving like the water. It's flowing. And that's what you wanna do. Jose and I started working out together a long time ago. It's, it's very rare that you could work out with somebody and get a, a really good workout, you know, just two people that are, you know, you're either learning so much or you're on the same level 
or mm -hmm. that you keep pushing and motivating each other. You know, it's like a person that comes to a class and they're getting instruction. You know, certain instructors are going to motivate them more or going to have their attention more. So he's a person to me that motivates me but also has my full attention that I'm going to push him and motivate him back and test him. He's going to test me. It's really, it's, it's brothers working, you know, fighting for, for the best for both of us. There's no way possible that we can stand in front of a huge class and tell our members, tell our family members what to do, how to do it, demand them to do this if we can't do it ourselves. You know, that's, that's the, one of the worst things you can see out there is a personal trainer or instructor running a class and making, you know, their, their people, their members, you know, go through a rigorous, you know, workout that you know that instructor can't do. So every single member that, that stands in front of us, they know, all right, Anthony wants me to do this, I gotta do it because there's no way that, you know, Anthony you know, not, is not able to do it. He'll do it and he'll do it with his eyes closed or with one arm, Anthony, you know? So it's, it's, it's just a matter of the more we push ourselves, we're just setting the, the, the bar that high that, you know, our members will keep on looking up to us. You know, and they'll say, well, you know what, if they can, because they're regular guys, if they can, you know, we can. Just like anyone else, I mean, where did we start? You know, it didn't happen for us overnight. It all comes within time. So if we keep pushing and we're better for us, we're better for everyone else that we're training. Hold it up. I don't care how you hold it now. 